Yo, welcome back guys. So, you're an individual. What do we mean by this? Today I want to cover this. In one sense, what I've learned over the years is we're all the same. You know, I covered it in recent videos. We've all got the same thing to figure out. Simple singing skills that improve over time. Motor skills, we've got to get very precise and predictable. These types of things. In that, in that respect, we're all the same in a lot of ways. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, we're all the same emotionally. We've all got doubts. We've all got fears. We've all got dreams. These types of things. But uh, that's me talking broadly. When we start to zoom in and we start to think about individuals, we can actually say the opposite. In one sense, we're all different. Everyone has this kind of unique snowflake pattern, I guess you'd call it, this unique fingerprint, um, their unique past, uh, their history as a person, what they went through growing up, uh, what type of um, attitudes they were around, this kind of thing, um, the kind of singers they were around when they were young, um, the kind of vocal examples they listened to one-on-one -on -one or in the same room when they were young, um, also the kind of music they listened to on re in recordings when they were young, this type of thing. Um, lots of different factors that can contribute to an overall picture that is different from one person to the next. So I think of it like this, people tend to be weighted a little bit one way or the other. And what I mean by that is, people tend to be, uh, their main challenge will tend to be weighted towards the technical side of things or the emotional side of things. Um, some people you get who are more balanced and everybody needs a dose of these things, you know, to get better overall. But what I found is some singers just don't need to do that much work on themselves. They're pretty confident people. They've had a good upbringing. They've had good role models and mentors around them. And I'm not just talking about singing. I'm just talking generally in their life as they were growing up. Those people don't need much help with this emotional stuff I talk about on this channel. Frankly, some of them don't need any of this help because they got it more figured out than I have. They just had the uh, they they built from the right starting point, really through no fault of their own. They just had a better start in in this in this regard. Uh, they just need to learn to sing. They need the technical help. They need the technical knowledge. They don't need any of this other stuff really, or limited amounts of it. So they're weighted more towards the technical side of needing help. Conversely, other individuals are weighted the other way. They might sing okay, they might have some good technique, but there is a lot holding them back, inhibiting them from going for it, getting aggressive, being open and calm and comfortable. Um, all the things I do cover a lot, and I tend to emphasize some on this channel. Frankly, that's because there's not many other singing channels out there, if any, that do emphasize this part of the journey. Um, as much as we can't see singing, and it's hard to figure out the technical aspects of it. Even more so, people tend to hide what's going on in here. They tend to, you know, lie to themselves a little bit. They tend to have no frame of reference. A lot of people don't even realize that they lack confidence because it's all they've known. Um, but the, the irony of all this is you can't trick, you can't trick people when they listen to you even if you've got good technique, if you lack that confidence, if you lack that ability to just let rip, um, they will suss it out. They won't be able to put their finger on exactly on why, but they will suss you out as a faker, as somebody who's, hmm, yeah, where are we gonna go now? What are we doing next? Not somebody who draws them in and uh, you know really connects with them. So those types of individuals are more weighted towards the the emotional side of things most people are somewhere in the middle they need a bit of both they need a good measure of both um, but the idea is that with with improving one we tend to improve the other uh, and whatever you're lacking in the most tends to be the area that you want to focus on the most so when we talk about individuals you know that's really what we're talking about everyone is unique in this respect we all have a slightly different hand dealt. You know, we've been given a slightly different set of circumstances that make our situation unique to everyone else's. So it's unrealistic 
a lot of the time to compare ourselves to others who are the same age, who are younger, who are older, wherever they're at. Because that particular individual just didn't have the set of circumstances that you did. And those circumstances have a very, very big impact on the end result a lot of the time. Now, all the stuff we learn on this channel is, is, um, is in a lot of ways kind of trying to cheat the game, cheat the system. It's trying to um, go back and address some of these things that might have gone wrong and fix them. Um, and this is partly why it's very tricky to uh, learn to sing well is because whilst you know everyone wants to go forward and learn, a lot of the real deep learning we do as singers is going back and learning from what went wrong and trying to fix it re retrospectively, retroactively fix it. And as we know, it's harder to fix something that's already been built than it is just to start from scratch and build something from scratch. Unfortunately, as humans, we get one shot. And uh, if we do want to fix something, we have no choice but to go back and fix it. Keep all this in mind. I just wanted to talk about individuals, how people are unique. Briefly covered how we're the same at the start of the video, but this is really me saying to you, nobody has your set of circumstances. You might relate to things I say because some of the things I've been through may um, resonate with you, but they're not gonna be exactly the same as what you've been through. Um, they're not gonna be, you know, they're just, they're just not. And so there are blind spots I have. Now I have a lot less blind spot, spots, spots. <laughs> I have lost a lot less blind spots um, because, you know, I've been through that change. I've been through that journey so I can see a b broader, bigger picture than would be average. Um, you know, this is why I have the ability to coach you guys because I've got a means of comparison. I know what it was like to struggle as a singer. I know what it feels like to not struggle as a singer, for singing to be easy. And so it gives me a sense of a journey, a sense of where you need to go from and to. Struggling singers don't have that context and natural singers largely don't have that context either, which is why some of the best singers will not be able to help you in your journey. And I'll leave you with that, guys. Have a good weekend. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you want my help personally, you can book a one-on-one -on -one training session. Drop me a message. My email is in the description. And if you feel like this message was of value, then please feel free to make a donation equal to that value. Again, donation link is in the description. And finally, please share this video with other singers you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in another video. Bye!